Officials at ringside have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control. Steward in charge is Dennis Gilmartin. Area representative Jeff Barrett. Inspectors ringside Mark Warner, Myra Barrett and Tony Payton. Timekeeper on the bell this evening is Peter McCann from Ricelip. And should the fight go the distance, three judges will score the contest. John Keane from Wellingborough. Ian John Lewis from Gillingham and from Twickenham, Marcus McDonnell. Upon the sound of the bell, the third man in the ring is our referee, introducing star referee Michael Alexander from Doncaster. Fight fans ringside, if you're ready, our boxes and the corners are in the ring and they are ready. The officials at ringside are ready as well. So the viewers joining us on Channel 5 and fight fans ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this party started! <laughs> the challenge of this evening is boxing out of the red corner. In there with his trainer, Michael Jennings. His official weight for this contest, 11 stone, 4 pounds, 4 ounces. His impressive professional fight record includes 19 victories from 20 visits to the ring as a professional, four finishing inside the scheduled distance. He has just one defeat on his record. Tonight he's wearing the white shorts with purple and gold and boxes out of Blackpool, Lancashire. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger, Jack Anfield. And across the ring in the blue corner stands our proud champion with his trainer Gary Lockett. His weight for the contest in Love and Stone, 5 pounds, 11 ounces. 22 fights as a professional boxer, 18 victories, 8 of those finishing inside the scheduled distance. 3 defeats and 1 draw make up his record. Tonight he's wearing the silver, red and gold shorts and this evening makes the second defence of his title from Trowbridge, Wiltshire. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the reigning and defending British middleweight champion, Nick Blackwell! <laughs> Referee Michael Alexander will now issue his final instructions. Well, as you both know, the so let's just have a good clean fight, OK? Most of all, remember to defend yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Scheduled for 12 three-minute rounds of boxing for the British middleweight title. So big night for Jack Arnfield of Blackpool. The Seasiders are in the house. You probably saw them with those tangerine scarves. Can they cheer him to... Not an impossible, but an unlikely victory against the sturdy, hard-punching, exciting Nick Blackwell in the red and white shorts here. A real feeling that Blackwell Ritchie could be developing into something special. That's a good right hand from Blackwell, and it's staggered on field as well. And Blackfield is all over in the slow starting. Nick Blackwell comes out of the traps electrically. Just caught him with a terrific right hand, didn't he? What's important for Arnfield in this opening round is he keeps that jab nice and sharp and keeps his distance. That's a little bit better. He's just got to keep that gap between himself and Blackwell. But if it's a slow jab, that allows Blackwell to come back with that right-hand counter, and that's what happened. So Arnfield, his, his most important shot in this contest, without question, is going to be his jab. But it's got to be sharp, crisp, and he's got to box at range with it. And as Anthony Agogo was telling us, does he have the power to keep Blackwell off? That's the point. Damon Jones got beautifully behind his jab in that last fight in Derby. But then Blackwell got to him, and what Arnfield has to do is keep it going for 12 rounds. He's never been 12. Good sharp left again from Blackwell. There was a little smile from Blackwell earlier on, wasn't there? He got caught with a good right hand. It was a right hand around the corner, around the guard. Right hook, if you like, a bent arm shot delivered after that jab. So Armfield, but Dave, in this contest for Armfield, ring position is absolutely crucial. Got to stay off the ropes, got to box in the spaces of the ring, box from centre, because Blackwell will back you up, and once he gets you on the ropes, that's when he really goes to town, switches the attack downstairs. 
Blackwell always strikes me as well as one of those fighters who is sparked into life by taking a shot. We saw it there, Armfield with the body shot and that double left hook from Blackwell. And now Armfield with some good work with a double left hook of his own. But I think Blackwell took that one on the gloves. It's got the makings of a really good contest, this good mix of styles between these two. Yeah, and early on, Dave, he's got to faint the jab also. He got caught with another sharp right hand from Blackwell there. So Blackwell is already, he's, he's trying to suss Armfield out with this jab. And if it's slow, he comes back with that right hand counter. That's the position he doesn't need to be in. Armfield, he's got to move. Armfield on the ropes and nice footwork moves him away from them. And a good combination through the guard there of Blackwell. Another little smile from Nick Blackwell. If you haven't seen Blackwell before, the pattern tends to be slow start, sometimes hopelessly slow, and then he catches fire. He's a thinking boxer, Blackwell. He likes to have a look at his opponent. This looks for too long sometimes, Richie. But yeah, he does. Good work here from Arfield at the end of this first round. Really entertaining. I think we're set for a good one. Lockett in the Nick Blackwell corner. This was good work, Richie. See, it's a fairly slow jab. He doesn't get it back to the on guard position. That's the mistake Armfield made, and Blackwell comes across with that right hand counter. Well, that is the point, isn't it? If you're fighting someone with a big right hand, you cannot, if you're relying on your jab, throw a lazy one. Because Blackwell will be looking over the top of it all night long here, and he will wait. When you deliver the jab, Dave, with speed like that, you can't afford then to bring it back to the chest. You've got to bring it to the on guard position to block that right hand counter. And that's where Armfield made the mistake in the opening round. And let's see if he makes it again here. Gary Lockett has talked about how proud he is of Nick Blackwell, who came very close to just becoming an opponent. Just a sort of measuring stick of a fighter, but. Here he is as a champion. That was good work, though, from Arnfield at the start of this second round. Trying to get on the front foot, trying to push Blackwell back. Good work from Arnfield there. He actually pushed um, Blackwell back. And he's not used to that, is he? But the movement, that's a lovely shot from Arnfield again. Good work, but his movement's very um, crucial as well. If he keeps circling to his left, he's going to walk onto a right hand, is Arnold. So he's got to vary his movement. He's got to move to his right occasionally just to, to throw off uh, Blackwell off the centre a little bit. If he keeps moving to his left, he's going to walk onto a shot. Confident again, though, from Jack Arnfield behind that jab. Has to be careful not to fall into Blackwell as well when he throws that. He's got to try and keep his balance, keep the feet light. Great right uppercut, then left to the body from Arnfield. There he is again, though. On the ropes, where he doesn't want to be. And now Blackwell, left hook to the body, followed by a left hook, and really good action here as Arnfield tried to respond. Then Blackwell went for the big right hook, went for it twice, but Arnfield has evaded it well. Well, he has, but you, you can't afford um, at this level of boxing, Dave, to take your eye off the, off the ball of that and, and lapse in concentration, because that's what it was from Arnfield there. He just relaxed a little bit, and he allowed Blackwell then to push him back to the ropes, and that's where Blackwell wants, wants to keep you. And when he gets you there, he works the body. You can't afford to hold your feet. You've got to move against Blackwell. That's better from Arnfield. Switching momentarily there to try and confuse Blackwell or at least give himself an advantage. That's great work again. There was a right uppercut in there. And now Blackwell tries to respond. You see, one of his strengths, Blackwell, is how tough he is. He's prepared to take those shots. They are good punches from Arnfield, but remember, he's only got four knockouts in the 20 contests that he's had, so he's not a big puncher. If he was, then he may be having 
having a little bit more of, a, of an effect on Blackwell. Blackwell, that's part of his game. He's prepared to take shots to land them. Arnfield again, got to move. Blackwell setting his feet and trying to throw those hurtful shots again, but once again, Arnfield responded well. Good variety from him here. Giving him space to use his main weapon. What's his main weapon? Jab. His jab. That's all he's got. Can't punch. What's the power like? Oh, nothing. What? Nothing. Right then. So you've got to push up close and you've got to make him work a little bit harder, right? Right. And when he gets close, it's not all the way. Every single time. Chill. You've got to expect that coming every single time, sure. right? Listen to me. Just do what you're doing. Enjoy it, mate. Enjoy it. This is your night, this. Well, good work here from Arnfield. has been told by Michael Jennings to enjoy his evening, began Richie. Yeah, he's had a couple of good moments in this round, hasn't he? Nice little right up, a good there. It was a fairly and a good left hook, fairly close round. So round three then. Remember, Nick Blackwell eventually gets to you. That's been the pattern. It was certainly the pattern with Damon Jones in. July in Derby, who was ahead on two of the three judges' scorecards before he was stopped. Arnfield isn't ahead yet, I don't think, but he's fighting an intelligent fight so far. It's fascinating to hear Gary Lockett in the corner in between rounds as well say, don't let him use his main weapon, don't let him use his jab, telling Blackwell to get up close to bully him. Arnfield start this round quite well, um, Dave, by keeping Blackwell just off balance and using his jab well. But you just get the feeling that it, it, it's literally a matter of time before Blackwell decides to attack and push his opponent back. But Arnfield has got to be strong in there, use that jab, he's boxing well. This first uh, minute or so, better work from Arnfield. But you know what's coming, and it's important that you keep that jab sharp. Try and keep Blackwell off balance, that's better. This time Blackwell trying to back Arnfield up, and Arnfield's job is to keep him off. Quiet around this third. This time Blackwell, he was uh, throwing the jab there, leading with his left jab and trying to follow up. And Arnfield with that little right uppercut. That's a Who's lovely shot. fighters here? Yeah, that's a lovely shot from Arnfield, that short little right uppercut on the inside. Generally, Blackwell's got good head movement, but he's got caught a couple of times with that punch through the middle. He measures, he's measuring the gap well now with the jab, his arm field, and then he's bringing that right up a good through. But here he comes, Roxy Blackwell. Now you've got to move when he wants to stand and trade with you. Well, he moved intelligently enough there, arm field, and then threw that little short right uppercut again. He's thrown it with some success so far tonight. And again, he moves away from the corner. Intelligent move there from Arnfield, got out that corner well. Claims the centre of the ring again, and that's where he will do most of his best boxing from that position there. Popular guy, Jack Arnfield, runs a really well-known popular gym. Is he in a bit of trouble here? No, he fights back. Just for a moment, I thought Blackwell had got through there. Ten seconds to go in round three. Blackwell's trying to really crank up the pressure here. Again, Armfield in the corner where he doesn't want to be. Working nice for him, then first two rounds. That was a closer round, that. Keep it long, keep it long. It's easy for you, it's easy for you. He's walking onto that jab. When he's walking off, he's trying to draw you onto a fight. If he's walking off, you walk He's starting to go in slowly now. Is he weakening, do you think? Yeah, yeah. 
Pilsen. Well, we're looking at Gary Lockett with Nick Blackwell. And here's some of the action from that third round where Armfield again did well, Richie. Some good work from Armfield in this round. Blackwell came into it the last 20 or 30 seconds, but I thought Armfield won the round for me. Well, one of Blackpool's most famous sporting names will always be Armfield with an M. I wonder if Arnfield with an N can at least etch his name onto that list. Blackwell coming out more positively at the start of round four here. This is where he normally starts to warm up and take over. Absolutely, you get the sense he's just warming into this contest now. Blackwell, he's been, there, been here many times before. Left to the body there was a... Really powerful shot, I think that might have hurt Arnfield. But again, he's reacted well, he's used his feet well. He's covering up well to the body, Arnfield, tucking those elbows in. He's just got to move his feet for me. And the problem as well for Arnfield is it is such hard work. Keeping moving, trying to keep Blackwell off him, not having that power. And that eventually will take its toll, or maybe will take its toll. Just wonder if he's breathing a little bit heavier in this round four already. Good right there from Blackwell, that caught Arnfield. He needs to get away from there as Blackwell moves forward, tries to trap Arnfield in the corner, big right over the top. Nothing really catching him cleanly, Arnfield's trying to fight back here. Terrific scrap this in Bristol as Blackwell now warms to his task. Combination from Blackwell. For the first time, Arnfield looks a little shaky here. Yeah, all started from that slow jab, didn't it? Terrific right-hand counter from Blackwell. Cut. And he senses the victory here now, Dave. Cut as well on the left eye of Arnfield. Suddenly he is in a world of trouble. It was always going to be the problem, wasn't it? That jab has got to stay sharp and crisp for 12 rounds. And already, round five, the intensity of the contest is taking his toll now on Arnfield. And that jab's a little bit slower. Oh, he right doesn't want to be the there, Dave. And then right to the head from Blackwell. Arnfield trying to fight back now. Is that rocky story unravelling here in round four? And that's the problem, is he just hasn't got the power to gain the respect of Blackwell. He's just warming to it now, keeping that head moving as he's coming forward. That's a decent jab from Arnfield. That's a little bit better. That was an important jab as well from Arnfield to try and keep Blackwell off him. And Blackwell has started to throw such a volume of punches here. See, that's better work there from Arnfield with that. Just a single jab and then he doubled it up. But you can't afford to let Blackwell close that gap down. Get into mid, slow jab again and gets caught. It's his own mistake. Right uppercut to respond though from Arnfield, followed by that left of the body. He's hanging on in there. as well Richie yeah it was a bad round for him wasn't it just made that mistake with the left hand there slow left jab he got caught with a superb right hand counter from Blackwell and that started the ball rolling switches the attack from body to head strong finish just saw the punch there that did the damage from Nick Blackwell start of round five here Nick Blackwell in those Red and white shorts defending his British title for the second time against the late replacement, Jack Arnfield, who started well but had a really torrid fourth round, did well to get through it and needs to get back on the front foot and try and get a measure of control with that jab. Easier said than done for him. He's just got to concentrate on straight shots. Got to be accurate with his work. You cannot afford to miss the target. And... 
allow Blackwell just to slip that shot, maybe. He comes across with that right-hand counter, and if it's a slow jab, there it is again. Look, he's trying to get that right hand going. He closes the gap down very quickly, does Blackwell. Well, multiple jabs there, that time from Arnfield. They haven't kept Blackwell off him, though. And at the moment, it's all one way, it's all Blackwell. And Arnfield is down, he just couldn't stand up to it. Blackwell's power, is Arnfield going to get up from this? He is. Constant pressure from Blackwell, isn't it? And it's to the body now as well. But I think he's hurt Arnfield. But Arnfield's game. He is hurt, but boy, he is tough. His dreams are on the line here, and he's trying to fight for them here, Arnfield. But Blackwell keeps coming. Great right uppercut from Arnfield in there. Blackwell barely felt it, but this is incredible bravery here and skill from Arnfield. Well, he's just produced two of the best shots of the contest. That right uppercut and left up there from Arnfield. Super shots. He's trying to pick them, but Blackwell now really senses the victory here, Dave. But what a response from Arnfield. Two quality punches they were on the ropes as well. And Super another stuff. Powerful left to the body there from Blackwell. Arnfield again did well to stand up. The cut is just bleeding a little again. And that's just made Blackwell think a little bit, hasn't it? It's a couple of good shots there from Arnfield. He's rallied. Switch to Southpaw briefly again there, Arnfield. Then threw a left hook. Now he's back where he doesn't want to be. Now Blackwell's on the front foot trying to finish it. Again, he throws that right uppercut, though, Arnfield, and has success. He's just finding those shots on the inside, isn't he, Arnfield? He's waiting for his opponent, Blackwell, to throw a punch, and then he's beating him to it. Sure, right uppercut on the inside. But he's really taking a risk here, Dave, just above us on the ropes. Taking a huge risk, and is he going to pay for it? Because this is Blackwell at his best. Look at this right and left combinations from Blackwell. Still Arnfield stands up. Closing moments of round five. from Blackwell, that was the left to the body, delayed reaction from Arnfield. Terrific body shot, wasn't it? Left hook, and then he just kept going, but look at that for a, left, a right up, got a super shot, and there's a left hook that comes up also. Well, here we go. Round six of the 12. Arnfield somehow still in there. And don't forget as well, Blackwell is very fit, keeps himself fit naturally, but he is expending a lot of energy here as he tried to finish it in the last couple of rounds. If you've watched enough fights over the years, you'll know if someone can hang on in there, the tide can turn. Problem for Arnfield is that lack of power, just four knockouts on his record. Because one or two of the shots he's landed tonight, Richie, if they'd had power behind them, real power, Blackwell would have been in a world of trouble. He's, he's shown a little bit of quality on the inside, as Arnfield, with that right uppercut, that left hook combination. He stands to trade occasionally, and that suits Blackwell, but he's returned fire, and he's found the target. But as you said, Dave, it's the power that he lacked, probably. But he's gained a little bit of respect from, from Blackwell, who may have thought he, that his opponent would have crumbled by now, but give him credit. He did fight three weeks ago, Arnfield. He was in fighting shape. He always is, I think, given his day job in the gym. And nothing wrong with his conditioning here. Blackwell's conditioning, as ever, just about perfect. Long right hand there from Blackwell. Came off that sloppy jab again. 
That's better. Double jab from Anfield. A little chopping right from the Blackpool man. This feels like a mini calm in the fight, but surely a calm before another storm. He's looking for the right hand over the top here. Blackwell, he keeps jabbing to the body. That's just that's a decoy shot, and then he's looking for that right hand over. Hornfield's got to watch what he's doing here. Yeah, he's looking for the Damon Jones shot at the same time in the fight, just about. There it goes, but didn't make contact. Left hook did, though. Left jab from Blackwell was so powerful. Just maybe having a little bit of a breather here, Nick Blackwell. Still dominant, still going to win the round at this rate, but not piling on the pressure as he was in rounds four and five. Great right there from Blackwell, that caught Arnfield and he follows up in the corner. Just about used his feet to get out of there, Arnfield, and throws that right uppercut again. Blackwell's fans are on their feet away to our left. They thought the end was nigh, but there's that right uppercut again from Arnfield. And he's showing skill and bravery. And showing that he belongs at this level as well, Richie Arnfield. Absolutely, I take my hat off to him. He's uh, took some real good shots in there. Well, you can see it all day long with the, the right hand over the top from Blackwell. Let's have a look here. Good exchange of jabs. But Blackwell is always looking for that right hand over the top. Boxing at distance, there it was there, look. Whips it over, and then he goes to town, doesn't he? But give credit to Arnfield, he's taken a lot of big shots in there. Comes back with the odd right up on the inside. Tremendous round of boxing. Oh, he's won. Oh, right. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Yes. Don't worry. Don't panic. Oh, right. Well, there are the words from Gary Lockett. You heard him. Don't worry, don't panic. And let's take a look at Richie's scorecard. 59, 55 at the moment. Blackwell, four rounds up. In fact, it's more than that. There's a 10 8 round in there, Richie. That's a, a misprint with the knockdown. And here comes Blackwell. It might not be the last knockdown of the fight either. The gum shield is out, so a brief hiatus. So Blackwell, five rounds up. And this is the problem. Arnfield needs a stoppage. Well, he probably does, but that's my scoring. And, you know, the judges might see it differently, but. I just think with the pressure from, from Blackwell, it's all, it always looks more impressive when he's on that front foot, he's pushing back. Oldfield, he's hasn't, he isn't really having, having a lot of effect with his work. But a couple of those early rounds were close, and they may have seen the first couple of rounds go to Armfield, but for me, he's just been edged out. Blackwell again, looking to the body, he's had success with it before. In the slightly slower pace, suit Arnfield, I wonder. See, that's good work there from Arnfield, but what he's got to do also, Dave, is push his opponent back occasionally, make it look more convincing. He's punching, then he's moving back and allowing Blackwell to take the initiative again. Good work from Arnfield, but push him back a little bit. Well, he's taken Blackwell's power, he's been down, but he's still there. And that's it. Psychological boost for a fighter, and now he's just playing with him again. He tried to switch again. And there's that little combination on the inside, but then the showier punches, the flashier ones, are from Blackwell. Blackwell made to miss there badly with that left hook. Is on field just thinking his way back into this fight? He's just slowed up a little bit, hasn't he, Blackwell? Let's just allow Arnold just to regain his composure a little bit, and he's starting to box a little bit better. It's better boxing from Arnold. Arnfield, should I say? I've said that twice in the day. <laughs> he won't mind. Listen, if he ends the night as British champion, you can call him what you want. But it's still a long shot as Blackwell looks to push Arnfield back onto the ropes. Just keeping his distance better, isn't he? Armfield with those shots on the outside. Oh, 
who are good, orthodox, and then Southport Jazz from Armfield. Just wonder with Blackwell, though, is he saving himself for more later in the fight? Blackwell's corner wanted to come forward. They want a bit more from him here. Those punches bounced off the gloves of Armfield. That's better, though, from Blackwell. That was an effort from him. He knows he's in a fight, though, now, Blackwell. Arnfield's cut has opened up again. Maybe getting worse. Let's get the views now of another middleweight who's in the mix. Anthony Agogo is with Mark. Anthony, what a terrific fight. What are your thoughts? Great fight, brilliant fight. I think Nick Blackwell, if you stand in front of Nick Blackwell, he looks like, Nick, like, like Mike Tyson. Like There's nobody better in British boxing in, in, in waiting away his opponent than Nick Blackwell. He's looking brilliant. And Jack Armfield, he keeps throwing slow jabs. Every slow, every slow jab he throws, that guy's slipping it in front of the right hand. And, he, and he's looking brilliant tonight, really good. Jack Armfield is just a couple of yards away from us. That's one brave fighter on the he's, stool there. He's tough as old boots. He's as game as a pheasant. You know, he's, that body shot, I thought you know, that was going to wipe him off. But no, he got back up. He, he gritted his teeth. He's throwing big shots back. This is a brilliant fight. This is what the British title's all about. Terrific, Anthony. Thank you. Yeah, Anthony making the same point you were, Richie, about that slow jab, that left jab. He cannot do that again, Arnfield. No, he can't. He's got to learn from that. But you've got to give him a lot of credit. He's a tough, tough kid, Arnfield. And Blackwell had the riot act read to him a little bit in the corner there as we head for round eight now. Arnfield has never been scheduled for 12, let alone gone 12. Blackwell's gone 12 twice. Uncharted territory for Jack Arnfield coming up. And there's nothing wrong with the conditioning, nothing wrong with the fitness, but is this getting to him? That's the problem he faces. In a contest like this, though, Dave, when you, t when you feel that you've taken your, your opponent's hardest shot, you start really believing in yourself. And that's, I think that's what's happening with Arnfield here. He's took some big, big shots, but he's come through. He's come through the storm here, and he's starting to believe in himself. And you yeah, look at it, that's a good shot there from him. He's boxing a lot better now. Blackwell slowed down a little bit. That's probably suited Arnfield, but he's got to keep it going. And, and sometimes, Dave, in a contest like this, certain boxers, they seem to get immune to their, their opponent's um, strength and power. And that is in that self-belief, trust me. And that's what Armfield's going through now. Caught Blackwell there as he came in. And if the change of opponent has bothered Blackwell more than he said it did or we thought it would. Many in the trade felt Armfield was actually a tougher fight than Elliot Matthews and maybe He's proving it. Little moments of success for Blackwell, but nothing more than that really in these last couple of rounds. So difficult to keep a man at bay like Blackwell. Obviously, that's what Armfield has got to do, but occasionally he just needs to grab and hold on the inside and take a breather. This is a learning fight for him against such a strong opponent. He won't have fought anyone as strong as this. And he's got to move, bad position to be in there. Yeah, it was, and he was covering up as some of those shots got through as Blackwell just ups the ante again here. Arnfield was... Eyes fixed there on Blackwell, trying to outthink him, outmove him, beat him to the punch. He's done that on several occasions uh, so far this evening. But Blackwell, as Richie said in the build-up, is always prepared to take one to land one, and that's what we're seeing here. That's his style. He's probably taken a few too many tonight, Nick Blackwell. You said it earlier, Dave, a harder punch here may give him some problems here. But he's exciting, isn't he? He's that type of, of boxer. And he wins the round again for me. Yeah, good stuff there from Blackwell, who is entitled right? to be tired. The first six or seven rounds, you were really tense. You're starting to relax a little bit now. Now take some deep breaths, OK? 
Well, here's some of that action. It was a better round, certainly, for Blackwell. And it was interesting to hear Gary Lockett talk about him relaxing into the fight. Yeah, I think they're, they're fairly pleased in that corner. Some good work here from Blackwell. Armfield just made the mistake of just holding his feet a little bit too long on those ropes there. He gets yeah, caught. He's asking now, let, wait for the second half of the round and start straight into the right hand, up, right? Because his jab is really, really slow now. Work the body now, right? The first two minutes, and then start to introduce our right hand over the top. Okay. I think it's always great when you, sitting on your sofa at home, can hear the tactics. So he's going to look for that straight right in the second half of the round. Blackwell, if all goes to plan. And what Arnfield has to do is throw that plan off course here. Three rounds to go after this. Titanic opening six rounds. It's been quieter since, but it's still a fascinating fight for the British title. We're starting to move into a part of the fight now, Dave, which is going to test the, the character of both these boxers, and especially Arnfield. We know how strong Blackwell is. He's been 12 rounds a couple of times. He's tough, but the questions are now going to be asked of Arnfield. How tough is he? Those untrainable qualities you need as a champion, the tolerance to pain, the, literally the, the, the willingness to win, and what drives you on all makes up a champion. And Armfield, I think he's moving into that area now and he's going to be tested both mentally and physically these next few rounds. Spoken there by a man who knows. We're a champion at the highest level. This British title level, but Blackwell in particular dreaming of that higher level that Richie reached. Needs to negotiate these three and a half rounds first. A lot tougher than anyone would have thought this for Blackwell. And I think Blackwell is really realising it himself here, Dave. Now he's going to work again. He's doing exactly what he was told to do in the corner. Trying to set up the right with the left here, Blackwell. Trying to get close, trying to pressurise Arnfield. Throws that big right, but it bounced again off the glove of Arnfield, and Arnfield is, at the moment, taking Blackwell's power. Just looks a little shakier there, Arnfield. I wonder if he's starting to tire. The difference as well here, Dave, is if you watch Blackwell, he just goes through the gears a little bit more than his opponent, so he puts his punches together a little bit quicker. He just ups the tempo here and there, whereas... Arnfield tends to be fighting at the, at the same pace. He's having some success, but you're just waiting for Blackwell just to step on it, and here he goes here, wrong cue. Can Arnfield keep him off? He can there, just pushes him back, tries to show Blackwell that he momentarily is in charge. There's certainly more bounce in the legs and the feet of Blackwell here. Feel that he's got more left, he's still looking for the stoppage. Right to the body, followed by a left that was a little low. Another round for Blackwell, and Arnfield's hopes here are fading. Three rounds to go, 10, 11 and 12. You're listening, Jack. How much do you want this? I want it. Well, you've got to fucking do it now. You've got to pull well, out. Apologies for the language there, but it's an important point, not just in the fight, but in this fella's life, so we'll forgive it. Honestly, I don't know, it was a good breath for you again. Come on, nice deep breath, son. Nice deep breath. You've got three rounds. Right, three, four, give me a sprint, sir. Yeah. Listen, if he tries to back, if he tries to back out over there, go with him. So when he when he when he looks again, you're right in front of him. You've got to keep your feet close to him now, right? Yeah. Off the jab, jab on your way in, you're there then, that's when you let him go. Because every time you fire the shot, you really, really hurt him, right? Let's go. There you go, both corners, Michael Jennings, Gary Lockett. Three rounds to go. Blackwell defending his British title. Ahead on points here, Arnfield needs three strong rounds, maybe needs a miracle. But the thing is, and the thing that no one expected is, three rounds to go and he's still in there with a chance. 
Good left dig to the body there from Blackwell. I think he surprised everyone here tonight, Armfield, coming in at short notice as well. He's in good condition. He boxed um, two or three weeks ago, didn't he, Good Armfield? Yes, he did against Davides Sajauka. Well, that was a different affair to this one. But to come in here now in the 12 rounder against the British champion and perform like this, I'm going to give him all credit. Tough guy, he's got the right tactics, but just lacks that little bit of power and intensity in terms of the work rate. Just hasn't, he hasn't matched uh, Blackwell for the work rate for me. Two tired men now, Blackwell still the livelier, still by far and away the likelier. That's a good position to be in there for Arnfield, boxing from the centre of the ring, and then you see he gets pushed back to the ropes, and that's, that's where the mistakes are made, but if he stays centre, he boxes a lot better, Arnfield. He can use his jab, he's got full range of movement. And that time Blackwell beat him to the jab. And again the jab there from Nick Blackwell, who wants to be here, wants to be close. The uppercut will just keep him off for now. These are shorter, hurtful punches from Blackwell. Not as flashy, but they do the job on the inside. And Blackwell is listening to his corner, hasn't he? Gary Lockett said he wants him to close that gap down. And that's what he's doing, coming forward. Field constantly switching, trying to keep Blackwell guessing, trying to make himself a, as much of a moving target as he can. Just the odd mistake here and there, he just made it there, Arnfield with that jab. Good feet again though, Richie, to get yeah, himself out of trouble. That was a super Blackwell. move. Just a bad position to be in there. <laughs> turned a negative position into a positive one, the way he turned and, and swiveled round and put Blackwell on the ropes. Good work to the body there from Arnfield as well. Nothing, though, seems to be perturbing Blackwell, who does love a scrap. Remember, he came from an unlicensed background, not an amateur one. He knows about fighting, he's a fighting man. And that's a big right hand from Blackwell. But again, Arnfield stood up to it. Two rounds to go. Very, very, very close. And Gary Lockett thinks it's close, or at least he's telling him it's close. Everything we've been working on in the gym, right? Let's forget that now, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yep. Get your feet close to him and work away. He's got no answer at all, but you can't wait. You're getting close, you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. I don't want you to wait now the last two rounds. I want you to work from twos and threes. Well, right? he's trying to keep his boxer motivated there, isn't he, by saying it's close. I don't think it's close at all. To be quite honest, I think um, Blackwell, he's way ahead, he's boxing well on that front foot. Armfield there, comes back, that was terrific work there from Armfield. Here's the Armfield corner. Six minutes, six minutes, Jack. Come on, son. Six minutes. In many circumstances, Six minutes can pass in the blink of an eye, but not if you're in there at this level. It might just feel like a lifetime for Jack Arnfield. You have to think those comments from Gary Lockett are purely motivational. It's not even one of those fights that you feel three or four of the rounds could have been scored the other way. With a 10-8 round, Blackwell surely has the gap, but Arnfield still could do something about it. That's what he was told to do again, Blackwell. Get up close and let them go. Occasionally, Arnfield does some good work behind his straight shots, Dave. But then he just allows Blackwell to gain the initiative again by closing that gap down and then and putting probably more impressive work together, threes and fours that, that catches the judges' eyes rather than those single straight shots of Arnfield. And there's some good work in there from him, but with Blackwell, he's action-packed and it just looks a little bit more impressive, I think, to the judges' eyes. Look, it's good stuff, body to head, and he's coming forward again. 
the difference that we may well talk about at the end of the fight, we talked about it before, is that Blackwell put simply is the heavier puncher and he's showing it here. Good right there from Arnfield, Blackwell again trying to close that gap. Well, Arnfield's got a, a box rec British rank ranking of 20, 26, isn't it? I mean, on this performance, he'll certainly shoot up them rankings. He wants more than that tonight, though. He's keeping his boxing together. And that's been one of the most impressive things about it, not just the bravery, but the continued skill. Straight right there from Blackwell. Again, though, doesn't get through. Those clever little shots on the inside from Arnfield. That little right uppercut kind of again. Well, that was a good shot, that was there. There was a right hand there from, from Blackwell. Just caught his opponent on, on the side of the head. It was a temple shot. And just, I thought, his legs just buckled a, a touch there, Arnfield. If you take that shot clean on the chin, there's no real problem, but on the side of the head, on the temple, that's when his senses can go a little bit. He's recovered well. But Blackwell, I think he senses it, look. He does, but there are only seconds left in the round now, with one to go after this. Blackwell trying to force the late stoppage as we head for the final round. Some good stuff here. Lovely super right hand on the inside. And there's that right hand over the top. And look, just for a moment, I thought he was just affected by that shot. There he was there on the temple. Look, see how his legs just jittered a little bit there. Right, no damage to that backing off. Let your punches go and punch until you're at standstill, right? Right. Punch until you can't punch no more, right? You've got to get this cat out of there, right? Let's be sure. Let's be sure of it. Have enough water? I have my Just on your head, yeah? Come on. Nice deep breath. There's the battle worn face of Jack Arnfield, and I'm sure a lot of you at home have taken him to your hearts tonight. How could you not? Called up at eight days' notice against a very dangerous British middleweight champion. No one thought he'd last this long. But he has carried the badge of Blackpool and held it high. He now, though, surely needs something extraordinary in this final round. Blackwell will go for the finish. He's just been told to. I think words spoken by Gary Lockett, a man who's maybe seen one or two Dodgy decisions over the years, Richie. That's what it sounded like to me. Let's make sure, he said. He thinks that some of these rounds are, have been close. And uh, I just think it's a ploy to keep his, his boxer motivated, to be quite honest. But Arnfield is digging in here. Some good straight shots again from him. No, he is. At the annihilation that... You might have expected from the hard-punching Blackwell. It's not materialised. Arnfield was down in the fifth from an excellent body shot, a ferocious one, but since then, he's withstood the pressure. Blackwell now wants to finish like a champion, and he turns on the style here. Arnfield suddenly looks so tired. The mouth wide open, the legs were jittering. 90 seconds of the fight to go. Going through the gears again, wasn't he? Blackwell there. Arnfield now replies. But shown his fitness here, Blackwell. And let's not forget, Blackwell won the British title in his third attempt. I'm sure we're going to see Jack, a lot of Jack Arnfield. He'll be back here again if he doesn't get this decision here. Absolutely, he deserves it. Deserves it on this performance. He's in the mix now. Is he still in the fight? Minute to go. Crowd in Bristol have been richly entertained here. More damage to that left eye of Armfield. More blood's coming down the side of the face. And that's spurring Blackwell on, look. 
Blackwell can see it. Blackwell senses it. Oh, he smells blood and he goes for the eye again, but that right uppercut again from Arnfield was there. Super shot, wasn't it, there from Arnfield? And, and again. again. Yeah, he <laughs> keeps finding that punch. 30 seconds left now. Arnfield behind the jab. Blackwell still trying to hunt him down. Still in his face. Still throwing shots. Arnfield, though, stands tall. Stands up strong, comes under pressure now with 10 seconds left. Blackwell still thinks he can finish it here. But the foot movement takes Arnfield away, and I hope this whole arena get on their feet for these two. It has been a war. They're on their feet. Blackwell has surely defended his title for a second time. But what a game effort from both men, Richie. Tremendous contest, and that's what the British title means to, to these boxers. Blackwell, I'm sure, would have thought this was going to be an easier night for him, but Armfield, you've got to give him tremendous credit there. He was in great condition for the contest. He tried to stick to his tactics at long range, but it's so difficult to keep a man like Blackwell at bay. But Jack Armfield, for me, he's been the star of the show, he really has. Great performance. And if it's in defeat, well, he can still take such pride. Little smile there from Blackwell. He'll be unsure, but you'd think it might be a wide margin here, but Blackwell knows that he needs to be better than that. If he's going to move up through the gears and the levels, as some in the media think he will, He'll need to do better than that. Well, he'll certainly need to go back to the gym, have a look at the, the, the tape, and, and he's got to cut out that right up because he keeps getting caught with on the inside. But he's that type of boxer, Dave, you know, he's, he's a short, mid-range man, and he's prepared to take a shot to land. And there's an old saying, you can't go into the rain and dodge all the spots. When you box like that, you know, you're going to get caught with shots. And, and Blackwell is a very, very exciting kid indeed. Now we wait for the... Scorecards to be collated. He's getting a lot of love, Arnfield, from his fans. The Blackpool scars were thrown into the ring as well. And he deserves every bit of applause that he gets. But let's not forget Blackwell, too, who uh, has done enough, we think, and will surely move on to greater things with uh, always a harem scare and ride that it is with him. Still be disappointed that his power didn't take Arnfield out. Especially as he had him in so much trouble in that fifth round, Richie. Well, I think as the contest went on, Blackwell started to, to, to get respect for his opponent because Arnfield took his best shots, come back with some lovely punches of his own. And, you know, you've got to give credit to Arnfield because Blackwell respected that and he knew then he was in a tough fight. And Arnfield would just, just wouldn't give way, so... He showed that um, he has the, the makings of a champion, no question, Jack Arnfield. Well, we're uh, about to get the decision, I think. Both fighters waiting eagerly, and we wait for our MC Paul Booth as the two fighters line up to get the decision. I think Arnfield probably knows, but we need to have it confirmed here. gentlemen firstly our referee Michael Alexander requests that everybody at the City Academy puts their hands together for the efforts of both of our professional boxers <laughs> after 12 rounds of middleweight boxing we go to our scorecards for the decision the judges return a unanimous verdict John Keane scores the contest 117-111 Ian John Lewis records it at 117-110 and Marcus McDonnell has the contest at 115-112. All three judges scoring in favour of our winner. And still, it's Blackwell, British middleweight champion. Second defence of his title, one of the judges there. Marcus McDonnell had it by three. It was close, all right. But Blackwell did enough. And Blackwell, after a tough, tough night against a tough, tough opponent,
retains the British title. It'll be fascinated to hear what he made of it, what both men made of it, and what both trainers made of it as well. But it's Nick Blackwell's night to celebrate again. Not maybe in the style that many would have expected, but it's Blackwell on points. He retains his title. What a fabulous fight we'll hear from Nick Blackwell after the break, and also we'll see an exciting new talent in Andrew Selby. What a fight, though, for the British middleweight championship. It's still Nick Blackwell's belt. We'll hear from him after the break.